South Africans interested in martial arts practice a wide variety of styles and systems. The Israeli self-defense and combat system Krav Maga is also making headway. Israeli Krav Maga master Gabi Nua recently visited the country. My hips up, I turn, I'm here to hand, hammer, punching, punching, punching. Participating in a training session run by Israeli Krav Maga master Gabi Nua was an opportunity not to be missed by these South African Krav Maga students. Master Nua not only trained elite Israeli Defense Force units in this self-defense system, but he also trained under the founder of the system, Imi Lichtenfeld. קרב מגע מאוד פופולרטי בעולם, כי ראוי שיש צורך בעולם להגן על, עצ... על עצמנו בטבעיות ובאינסטינקט של אדם. קרב מגע הוא מאוד פופולרי בעולם, כי אנחנו כולנו יש את הצורך הבסיסי של להגן על עצמנו, את הצורך של כל אדם להגן על עצמנו. קרב מגע כבר הבין שקרב מגע הוא מאוד אפקטיבי על הדברים, וזה למה שכל אחד רוצה לדעת את זה. היום אנשים נכנסים לקרב מגע קרב מגע. In the organization I'm involved with, IKM, there are about 20,000 people, and there are other similar-sized organizations. South Africa is the only African country affiliated to the International Krav Maga Federation. Krav Maga isn't considered a sport, and people tend to practice it for self-defense purposes. To progress, students must nevertheless pass through a grading system similar to that of martial arts. One of the main reasons for Master Nua's visit was to grade students. It's a very big honor that we in South Africa get the opportunity to be graded by someone that high up in the system because that ensures a great standard of Krav Maga all over the world. In South Africa, it's not a hobby, it's a need. There is a lot of baggage. Even if they don't have money, they still come and exercise. For example, today, the hall is packed. People don't have money for food and they still come to exercise because they invest in the need for self-defense. And this is the distinction between them and the rest of the world. Although statistics show a decline in the country's notoriously high crime rates, the occurrence of violent interpersonal crimes is still amongst the highest in countries not involved in war. I've decided to run a self-defense seminar um, on, on home invasion, specifically this time because it is a big problem here in South Africa. Um, every day you read about people going into someone's house, breaking in as being murders and rapes. And what Krav is teaching me at the moment is that, you know, you need to look around, you need to be able to spot a situation and need to get out of it as soon as possible. So I really think what I'm doing in Krav is assisting me in the crime situation in South Africa. Krav Maga may still be growing in South Africa. But for these students, learning to defend themselves from a renowned Israeli Krav Maga master is a big deal. I'm Marisa de Klerk in Centurion for JN1.